Hello and welcome back to our HIP Roman Restoration campaign. In our last episode, we finished uh, many of the wars we were involved in. We, for instance, took a duchy from the Hungarian Revolt and from Hungary themselves. Uh, so we're still in a few wars here. We're fighting against Georgia on behalf of our friends, and in fact, our relatives in Alania, which uh, is almost over. We're about to finish sieging the capital there. We should be able to finish that pretty soon. We're fighting Wales up here in Britannia, since they became independent recently. And probably one more siege will finish our war there, and we also have this single county over here, which actually we can assault, so let's order the assault there. I don't think this... is this retinue? I kind of would prefer maybe not to assault if that's the case, but anyway, it's fine. If it costs us a thousand gold, so be it. Um, so after that we'll see if we have any expired truces and see if we can get any other wars declared. Uh, we also have this faction which may be a problem. How strong is this right now? It's actually at 116%, which is a bit of a problem. And it's all kings and queens who are in it, apart from the leader, of course. So they're very expensive to bribe. Uh, let's see... Maybe we should try to make an effort to get our domain back under the domain limit, because that's a minus 10 opinion with everybody. I think it's minus 10. Yeah. Uh, well, let's see, why don't we switch to a stewardship focus? That might give us enough to get up to a domain limit of 10. And I think the uh, the effect of plus 10 we get from that is better than the opinion bonus we get from plus 2 diplomacy. Let me just check that. What is the actual bonus that we get from diplomacy? We're getting plus 22 from state diplomacy, which is half of our state diplomacy. So we're actually only getting plus 1 opinion from the 2 diplomacy that we have here. So definitely, I think, makes sense to change to stewardship focus if that's going to get us plus 10. We'll see. Probably have to unpause so that that can update. So let's do that. Okay, apparently did not get us the required amount. Alright, we have 100% here. Let's force demands. And I assume this went to somebody appropriate. Yes, to the Duke, that's fine. Arrange marriage offers from our vassal despot of Antioch and our vassal queen of Portugal or wherever she's queen of Aragon as well. Uh, for the same person, presumably our daughter. So this is the heir to Antioch. I think we'll choose him. Seems fine. Alright, so we could also potentially consider divorcing our wife and getting somebody with more stewardship to help us hold onto our domain without a penalty. Which I guess we can do. I mean, Emma is a genius, but none of the children we have with her are ever likely to get anywhere near the throne, so... Perhaps that doesn't matter. So she has 13 stewardship, we'll have to try to upgrade that. Cuts us 100 piety, that's fine. Wait for a reply from the Patriarch? Do we even have to wait for a reply? Apparently we do. There we go. This is urgent, come on. So we'll get somebody with... 24 stewardship, perhaps? Sounds good. Uh, let's actually just marry another genius. Who knows, the genius children could be useful to us. So we've gone down to 8 temporarily, which is even worse, of course, but... Our marriage should go through any second now. Alright, um, the Grandmaster of the Knights Templar is a little bit happier. And he'll be happier still once we get married, and get up to a domain size of 10. So he's up to 31, let's check on the faction now. Um, 
this guy? Not this guy. Somebody seeks to kill Simonus. Is that our daughter or something? It is. Eh, well, I guess that's probably not a big problem. Alright, so now the lower Crown Authority faction is growing as well. So that hasn't helped too much. How much did he want as a bribe? Oh, he already bribed him. But he's up to 51, so it's not too bad. I'm hoping that if we get him out and sort of reset the faction, some of the other people won't rejoin. So we'll give him the title as well, and... That did not work that way. But we are down to 56%, so that's good. And if the Crown Authority faction stays where it is, I think we're okay for the moment as well. Oh, and there is... Another opinion improvement with the Grand Master. So let's move our Chancellor to somebody else here. Despot of Italy, I guess, is pretty powerful as well as being in... Is he in both factions? No, just the one. Talia Anonaria, is he in both? Is this you? It is, so I guess we'll work on him. with our Chancellor. I think we may have things just about under control there. Let's unpause for a while and try to actually get these sieges done. Oh, we have an English Revolt. Right, Crown Authority, okay. And we can pick an Ambition. I think we previously had the Improved Combat Skills Ambition. And we've just turned 50, so we can't have that anymore. So we'll try to convert a province instead. A nephew was born, okay. Up to 92% having completed another siege over in Georgia. We're about to do another one there, which might get us the 8% that we need. During a visit to Galata, the Duke of Dubrovnik and his entourage were accosted by brigands who made off with several valuables. This is an event related to our new rulership focus. Efforts to catch the thieves have failed, and the Duke is now demanding compensation from the mayor, I think? I guess we'll side with the Duke. One of the eunuchs at the Imperial Court has distinguished himself and caught the attention of your advisors, though they are usually of the jealous kind and loath to admit redeeming qualities in others. Even they cannot deny the promise of this young man. Um, I don't know, I don't think we need more people in our courts. We'll just decline to bother with that. Up to 99% here, and we have not finished sieging the whole of the target county, so we won't be getting ticking war score, we'll have to pick up another 1% somewhere. Captain Ingemar of the Varangian Guard can be a commander, that's fine. So maybe what we'll do is try to fight a battle here, probably the quickest way to win this. Fortunately, they have 7,500 over here, so we're going to need to send quite a few troops. Maybe this 11 strong army will be enough to count for 1% war score. We'll see. A grandson with a melodious voice. yet changing their laws. Okay, that battle was not worth 1%, unfortunately. But we have finished a siege in Wales and gotten to 100% there. So we'll enforce our demands. Take the Duchy of Dehubarth. 
And we need to nominate a successor for the Kingdom of Wales. All right, we have uh, land in there, that's why. Well, I think we'll just go ahead and grant these to whoever the random algorithm recommends, if I can find the right place to click on here. And the duchy title, which we also have, we will grant to one of these people. Probably doesn't matter too much, we'll just give him the best county. Or give it to the person with the best county, rather. And I suppose we don't have enough land to usurp the kingdom title yet. Well, he's at war anyway, so... We won't, um... 21% in favor of Alba there, so he is probably going to win. Not unexpectedly. Alright, so just this one remaining war to get done with. Uh, yeah, now this 9000 is coming in to attack me here, which is kind of a problem. I guess we'll just send our reinforcements and assume they'll get there in time. I think we'll be okay. Gonna be in on the 24th. Uh, we do have this batch of reinforcements gonna arrive on the 28th, so that should be enough to hold them until the main army arrives. Yeah, they're gonna be fine. And this should definitely be worth more than 1%. Even in your sleep, in your dreams, you think about this war, it's all you ever think of. So we are going to pick up the trait stress, or we have a 20% chance of it at least. And we got unlucky. How is our air situation right now? We have uh, Kalinikos, he's 29, he's an okay character. Doesn't have many children of his own. Is the one elder daughter is a genius, though, so if she does inherit, that wouldn't be so bad. Uh, let's educate her ourselves. Uh, it's going to make the despot of Illyricum unhappy, but I think we can weather that storm easily enough. She might become Greek, which actually would be a benefit. All right, our despot of Italia, Anonaria, is happier. He's up to 34. Is he still in factions? He is still in both factions. Is it the same? It is. So we'll keep working on him. Okay, that battle did get us 100%. Oh, I guess this isn't our war, so we can't actually end it ourselves, but... Our allies should do so more or less immediately. Betrothed can marry. This is our daughter and the Prince of Hungary. You wouldn't accept a sneaky matrilineal marriage? No. Okay, that's fine. Um, this is the same marriage that we just put through. I'll just accept there, I suppose. Yes, well, it's already happened, so don't worry about it. So we'll get our troops home here and disband them, and then we'll look at what other wars we have available to declare. I guess we could uh, potentially stay at peace for a while. I don't think that's really a good idea, though. We'll just avoid raising troops from our angrier despots. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention to that message. Was that the war in Britannia ending? Nope. Okay. Well, we'll still have truces with um, Wales, certainly, and probably most of the people around here as well. We still need to take a county from Poland. 
which we can't do yet. We obviously have truces with Hungary and the Hungarian Revolt. Uh, Swabia there, that's going to be over in a few years. Uh, Middle Anglia, I think, is this guy. We have a truce with him. I guess we should probably try to kill somebody, probably the King of Hungary. Oh, he's in hiding. Maybe we'll try to kill the King of Poland. Not much chance of that, it looks like. Well, let's take a look at our... Um, tier 6 tooltip here. It might be down to a manageable size. Not really, but... Let's see. Um, Alright, the... Top few are all in the area of Germany and up here in this kind of place. Tyrol is down in the Alps. Okay. We'll certainly be conquering that at some point. Augsburg, yes. Um... I'm not sure about these places. Nor Shirakan, Oromia, Dwin, Ani, Kars. Where are these places? I don't think they're in Hungary. Ah, over here. So we need to conquer some stuff from Armenia. Okay. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, this one, Sopron, etc. I think that's all in Hungary. Mosul as well is over, I think, in uh, Persia? Surely not that far east. Oh, this is in uh, in Armenia as well. That's okay. And further down, we're all in Britannia. Okay. Alright, well, it doesn't mention the more easterly lands here. It just says England, Wales, and Germany, but that's okay. We can certainly accommodate that. Unfortunately, it looks like probably most or all of the land we need to conquer is going to be under Armenia. Five separate reconquests there. Maybe these counties as well, though? Yes, okay. Anything under these guys? We can do a holy war, but I don't think we need to bother with that. Does Georgia have anything? Nope. And I'm going to assume that the Seljuks over here don't have anything that we need either. Okay, so we're going to have to do a few wars with Armenia, it looks like. That's fine. And uh, maybe if we take his capital... That might be the best for provoking instability over there. Which could give us revolts we can take advantage of. I think this might be the only thing we can declare right now. Do we still have a truce with Alba? Though the only county we need to conquer from them is already contested, so you might want to wait for that war to be over. We don't have a truce. I guess we could just declare this and see what happens. Nah, I think it's going to be messy, and we should really just wait for that war to end first. Alright, I don't think there's anybody else we can declare on here. Maybe on whoever owns this. I think we probably have a truce with him still. Definitely Swabia. Who are you? No CB there. No CB here. Alright then. Just the one word is, I suppose. Well, at least that means we can definitely avoid raising our troops from Italia, Ananaria, Britannia, etc. The more angry people. How many is this? 15,000. While Armenia has 14,000, we'll probably need a few more there. Did we raise Syria already? Alright, that's Italia and Anaria, up to 65. Uh, let's call in our allies in Alania, since 
they help or we helped them out. I think they owe us one. Get a few more raised over here, I think. Oh, I never declared on these counties over here. Let's just get that started. Uh, I guess we don't have a CB on him. Was he called in as an ally already or something? Yes, okay. So we were too slow on that, that's fine. We can get him next time. And our kinsman answers our call. Which he better. He wants any help from us in the future. Our daughter is of legal age, she became an underhanded rogue, okay. You want to intercede on behalf of one of our prisoners? Yeah, okay. We'll let him out. Or her out. And factions are appearing again. France is here. Well, we don't have France's troops raised, so he will be ticking up in opinion as that penalty goes down. Uh, we probably don't have an honorary title to give him, or at least not one that will increase his opinion. Maybe we'll try to bribe one of these other characters out that will be a bit cheaper. If Italia Anonaria is out, we could move our Chancellor. And he does seem to be, so let's work on... Lusitania. So 30,000 should be more than enough to take on Armenia's army. We have a new despot of Burgundy. He's 12 years old, that's fine. Marriage between... just a courtier and some other courtier in France. Sure. Alright, let's get our first 25k on the way over there. Looks like they're trying to get onto some boats here. Probably would be able to intercept them. That's okay. Uh, recently I've taken my ward with me when I traveled around the country visiting different villages, castles, and cities. I constantly explain to her how people trade, what sort of crops we grow on the land, and so on. So she's going to gain some stewardship. Just one. And we have lost our Mysticus somehow, so let's appoint... I guess this Duke, why not? Alright, well we're out of time for this episode, so we'll have to leave it here for now. Thanks for watching, and join me again next time.